Hello and uh, welcome uh, to the inside of my van and uh, today there's a little bit of uh, good news about the current shutdown at least uh, there is if you're living in Germany where the German government is to slacken some of the restrictions that have been in place now for one month. As some of you may be aware I was actually in Germany when this whole thing uh, started and uh, indeed I only crossed the border into Poland uh, just a couple of days before there was a, the borders themselves actually closed. Let's have a look now uh, into the situation in Germany and uh, so as of uh, Monday the 20th of April there's a number of things which are uh, going to be slackened as I said. Um, you can see another video I'm about to put up which is about the company uh, Hobby which is from uh, Schleswig-Holstein and um, they manufacture uh, RVs, uh, they, um, you can see on my website, uh, their, their camper vans, or their motorhomes. Uh, they're going to start production of caravans uh, again as from uh, the 20th of April, although because of the um, supply chain, uh, I think the manufacture of motorhomes and uh, camper vans is going to be some time off. So a number of companies are beginning work again in Germany and uh, one thing the com country uh, can do now is, is to manufacture 50 million ma masks a week which is uh, considerably more than many other uh, countries uh, can do in even in a year. Um, now small shops will be allowed to reopen and some children could even be back at school and those children which will be allowed to, uh, to school first will be those who are having exams before long. Nonetheless, it needs to be remembered that Europe is the eye of the storm. As we approach 150,000 deaths worldwide, I think it's worth remembering that two-thirds of them have been uh, in Europe. Uh, the infection numbers in Germany have sunk significantly uh, so the, the health minister believes that the outbreak is under control. In Germany, each disease carrier is infecting um, less than one person. The average is now about 0.7 uh, new cases from each existing case. So, so far in Germany, uh, almost 134,000 people have been infected and um, at the time I'm speaking, uh, 3,868 have died. Um, having said that, the, uh, you know, the German government uh, has said that there's little room for error and uh, warned that they may have to um, make the conditions more stringent uh, once more. That could happen. So, uh, other measures uh, will uh, the shops, uh, which are up to 800 square meters, they can open again. And uh, but many other things will remain in place. I mean, you can't have more than two people uh, in uh, one place, so there'll be no gatherings at all. And uh, it needs to be pointed out uh, very clearly that Germany is a federal. Um, country like the United States for example and laws are different from one state to another so for example uh, in this case we'll see in Bavaria there will be much uh, stronger uh, laws still uh, in, in effect as far as the lockdown is concerned but in uh, Nordrhein-Westfalia that's the area around uh, uh, Dusseldorf for example uh, there they will be much more liberal in its interpretation So, uh, other factories uh, which uh, could open, I mean, uh, Volkswagen has announced that it's going to start opening. Uh, now, um, so I think I'll conclude uh, this bit of good news with the, the face mask situation. So, Germany is uh, producing 50 million, as I said at the beginning. Uh, in Germany, it's n there's no obligation here, for example. Uh, I'm in my motorhome at present. If I decide to go out uh, of the door, which is uh, one metre... Oh, well, maybe I'm exaggerating, one and a half metres to my right, and it's uh, sort of open at the moment, uh, I have to have a mask on. I have to wear a mask everywhere I'm in public, uh, in, in, in Poland, and I think I'm supposed to have gloves on as well. I mean, I do it now. 
so uh, in Germany there is no obligation although people do do it in, in some places right so uh, thanks very much for listening I shall continue doing my um, uh, sort of disease specials or whatever until the situation ends or I completely run out of ideas uh, about what to do these are these go live at uh, nine o'clock Central European time eight o'clock in the UK every day and uh, 15 minutes later they are followed by a motorhome video so I hope you find that of interest thank you very much for watching